Hey everyone, this is Grace. Hope you've been well. And I am coming to you with a Happy Meal um, share. This um, arrived, what was it, last week? Maybe even a little bit before then. But um, I realized I need to share the goodness that these ladies have blessed me with sooner rather than later. And it's already later. So I wanted to do that today before things get a little crazy or I move on to my crafting project. So this lovely package comes to me from Wendy. Wendy is a little bit active on YouTube somewhat. She has a blog. Um, but from time to time, she will upload videos of her card explosion box. I, I think that's what she calls them. Um, but anyway, um, so I will link down in the description bar her YouTube channel just so that you can check it out. And then um, that one over there is a um, note card and um, prize winning that I won from Tanya, who is Memory Lane Keepsakes here on YouTube. I will link down the description bar her YouTube channel. Better yet, I will um, link her most recent House Mouse collaboration video um, in which I, you know, won the giveaway because she is part of the year-long House Mouse collaboration. So amazing entrepreneur and crafter. So I um, want to share that with you. And then this is from Kathy. And so... Yeah. Now these note cards are out of their envelopes because I had already begun filming and in the middle of filming I ended up getting interrupted by a phone call that I needed to get. It was from my doctor's office and so I just thought oh well we'll just start all over again. So instead of stuffing it back into the envelope I thought I would just leave them out. So let me go ahead and share with you what Tanya sent me. And so I think this is a really nice idea, just a really simple note card, an A2 card, and then you can write the person's name, stamp the person's name if you want to get a little fancier or whatnot, um, but very cute. And then um, she, these are the images that I won, and you know me, the Turtley Crafter, so any little nudge or help that you guys give, I appreciate because then it just makes my crafting a lot easier and so especially um, for summer, I thought that this would be appropriate. I can certainly color um, these little two guys up. And then, um, what is it? My suspicion is this is definitely Monica, I believe. And then that one, I'm thinking, is it Maxwell, Amanda? I'll have to check um, which one it is. But I don't think it's Mud Pie because Mud Pie usually has a little notch on his left ear and so you can't really see um, his left ear from this vantage point but yeah perfect for summer don't you think so um color them color them up and then fussy cut them and then plunk them down on a project so she sent two and then she just writes hello grace congrats on winning my house mouse stamped images I appreciate you playing along your YouTube pal memory lane keepsakes. So I hope you guys get a chance to check her out. Just a really talented crafter. Um, she has a, um, I think it's like a baby shower business. I think it's more than just a baby shower business, but she is locally based in Atlanta. So for those of you who are certainly interested in, um, you live in that area and you're interested in, contacting her for business certainly um i would encourage you to do so so thank you so much tanya and then this one is from kathy she sent me one of her punch studio stationery and i would show you the front of the envelope except her address and my address are on it but such a beautiful envelope so um kathy sent me this and i love the gold on this right punch studio makes such beautiful stationery anyway um, inside, I won't share what she wrote, although she wrote quite a bit. Um, it was such a pleasure, by the way, Kathy, to read through this. Can I just say, and here's the thing. It was um, what Larry said, and you guys praying for me, it just, it warms my heart, gives me strength, certainly. And I just want to let you know that I am staying rooted in God's word and in prayer, those two pillars, right, of our faith, um, scripture and prayer, and that um, the battle has intensified, I will say, where actually it's not a battle, it's more like a war, 
um, to regain my health, but it has intensified. But in each of those instances, you know, God's giving me peace, God's giving me strength. So your prayers are definitely working and um, bolstering me up. And um, yeah, so I am continuing to stay positive and faithful. And so I want to thank you for your continued ministry to me. Um, just warmed my heart as I read. And, you know, Larry was sharing, you know, with you uh, about me. And then you shared what he was saying in here. I just, when I read it, I said, amen, brother. <laughs> but, um, you know, I've just, you know, I was telling my family, you know, we hope to live for a really long time. And my hope still is that God willing, he will heal me and let me live another 45 years. I'm turning 45 this July. But, you know, we're, regardless of when I go, you know, to my permanent home, um, he's really just impressing upon me the importance and the blessing of living each day in his grace and just making the most of it. So, you know, P, um, you know, Whimsical Endeavors, you know, has been saying, make happy memories in her videos. And this summer, that is one of my big um, things is to make happy memories. And so this past Sunday, even though I could have been a little bit tired after church, I rested, hung out with Bentley a little bit. And then I had an early birthday dinner with three dear friends who treated me to this place called the Jazz Cat. And it was really sweet. My friend um, who coordinated and, you know, chose the venue, um, she really was very conscious of, you know, what was on the menu and chose a place that was, um, that had organic vegetables and that had salmon so that I could eat. We basically ended up doing shabu shabu um, hot pot. And so, you know, more so than the food, though, it was just the company. And so that was a very happy memory. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, um, the most recent picture you probably saw of me with three other um, Asian ladies, that was us um, celebrating that dinner time. And then tomorrow, to make another happy memory, I am going to be meeting with Love Lufkins to make another happy memory and celebrate her birthday, belated as it is. And so, yeah, I'm just, you know, taking each day and just really enjoying, you know, God's blessings. So, Kathy, thank you. And I will say that um, the Sunday, my father, we will be celebrating his long um, tenure as senior pastor and um, he's been very faithful in his ministry of what 45 years um, actually this is his 46th year because he was ordained in 1973 he was also in ministry before that but officially as a pastor in 1973 a year before I was born and um, you know I think a lot of people think that you know when my dad retires, he's going to retire, but he's actually not. Um, he holds two jobs right now. One is as senior pastor, and then one is as a doctor. Um, he also works as an internal medicine doctor. And, you know, he was a pastor first, and then when he immigrated to the United States, um, dad said one day as he was working and studying, you know, to get his MDiv here, um, which is Masters of Divinity, um, he felt God calling him to go to medical school. And my mom, when she heard that, thought my dad had gone, you know, crazy from the stresses of immigrant life and whatnot, because you guys know it's hard enough for American born and raised, you know, students to get into medical school, much less a foreign born and raised, you know, person, you know, for whom English is a second language. But, you know, my dad has been blessed with an incredible perseverance drive and faith and smarts and you know God really opened doors and so dad was able to get into medical school at the age of 40. I was in high school about to go to college when he entered medical school and just you know just going through that so dad actually even though he is technically retired from senior pastorship he will continue to serve in a number of 
you know, capacities at church. He will still continue to do his short-term medical missions. And the man just turned 70, but I mean, he's got, he's even more youthful than I am, you know, energy-wise and um, still has big plans of things to do for God's kingdom here on this earth while he has breath and just, you know, he, he's such a great model, you know? So, with everything going on with me, I see that, and it just reminds me to keep going. And, um, you know, Dad actually isn't going to be retiring from his second job, you know, as a doctor. So he will continue to be working. And, you know, according to him, he still feels as though he's in the prime of his life. So he will continue to work as a doctor and as a pastor, just not officially as a senior pastor. So rest assured, Kathy. Mom and dad, they plan on working for God until the very end when he calls him home. And that's certainly a kind of philosophy that my mother has impressed upon me and same with my father. Dad used to tell me, I want you to work hard, make lots of money so that you can do many, many great works for God without any hindrance. And then mom, you know, her thing is, you know, as long as God gives you abilities, she hopes that I will continue to serve um, in whatever capacity, and I will still continue to do that. Um, God's been gracious enough to allow me still good health so that I can continue to serve as youth director at my local church. And can I just say, even though this health journey has been a tough one, it's also been a very good wake-up call, and it's taken me back to my first love of, you know, why I even started to believe um, in Jesus Christ. And yeah, so it's been really great. And um, the youth group is a lot younger than I've had to deal with in a really long time. And so again, that in itself is, again, going back to, you know, when I first started. And one of the first youth groups that I got to minister to was a group of four little girls, right, in what was it, junior high school and high school. And now I am ministering to a group of five kids, um, three kids who just graduated sixth grade, one kid who just finished 10th grade, and another boy who finished um, ninth grade. And so two boys and three girls. And so it's just been a blessing. So thank you so much. Fear not. As God gives me strength and breath, I will continue to do his good work. So anyway, as encouragement, she sent me these cute little things. How adorable. I love this set of stickers. I plan on putting this very um, strategically in a place that I can see and be reminded of these two verses. And she sent me two sets with God, all things are possible and all things are possible if you believe. So these are definitely two of the verses that I love. And incidentally, speaking of Bible verses, it was hilarious because my mother yesterday came into my room and she was sharing with me about how, you know, scripture that she read this morning said, cast all your cares upon him for he cares for you. And I was like, oh, mom, yeah, First Peter, right? And she looked at me stunned. And I was like, chapter 5, verse 7? And she's like, how did you know? And I think in my mom's mind still, I am still her little girl, you know, the one that she still needs to teach scripture to and whatnot. And I had to tell her, I said, mom, in as much as you don't see me reading scripture, I read scripture more than you think. And I love scripture. And I take the time to commit it to memory, and I have life verses, and that's one of my life verses. And so, um, yeah, it was so funny that after almost 45 years together, my mom was surprised by me. <laughs> anyway, so thank you so much, Kathy. Um, and if I'm a little chatty, it's probably because everyone, um, I am home most of the time alone now. And Bentley's my only companion. And so when I get on here, it's like you guys become my little um, chatting companions. Oh, my goodness. How cute are these little panda bears? <gasps> these will be so cute for reading book tabs. Aww. 
I may have to use some of these for my little niece's scrapbook. That would be so cute. Thank you so much, Kathy. Anyway, so this is from Kathy. Let, whoa, hold on. All right, I picked it up. And then this is from Wendy, and she decorated the um, package really nicely. She has this washi tape. Let me see if I can pull it out. Hold on. All right, so I pulled out what she sent in the package, and then this is the front. Um, such beautiful washi tape. So thank you so much, Wendy. Such a, you know, encouraging, happy package. Now let me share with everyone and you so you can hear me ooh and ah over the stuff that you sent. All right, so um, this is the card that she made, and oh my goodness, I love... This image of this woman with a little sapling, tree sapling, you know, resting against the tree. And I love the verse that she selected. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future, Jeremiah 20, 9, 11. This is one of my life verses. And, you know, Wendy, I really thank you so much. I know in the card you were telling me you're not that religious, but the fact that despite that you made a very religious card for me to encourage me and to uplift me, that means so much. So thank you so much. Um, I will be putting this on my windowsill. Just what a beautiful, beautiful card. And I love the heart behind the card so thank you so much um she sent me cute stuff you guys um wendy sends oh my goodness this is so perfect for my birthday thank you it's a little piece of cake do you guys see that with a little candle i'm gonna clip this some people may say it's a little juvenile but i'm gonna clip this little guy onto my purse for the entire month of July in celebration of my birth month and to uh, remember the heart of Wendy. Thank you so much. What a cute little guy. He reminds me a little bit of um, Chip, you know, the Disney um, teacup. Oh, thank you. And then she crafted this. So elegant. So, so pretty. Do you guys see that? And then it, this was tucked inside, but I pulled it out so that you guys can see. She stained it, distressed it, and it says, Spring shows us what God can do with a little bit of dirt and some brain. I love this tag, Wendy. Absolutely beautiful. How cute is that, you guys? Oh, thank you. And then <laughs> when I saw Lucy Van Pelt, I just chuckled because Wendy must have remembered. I love Lucy because I think she's like my alter ego um, growing up. And, you know, I try to be as kind and nice to everyone as possible. But there's a part of me that secretly wants to be like Lucy. You know how Lucy doesn't have any social filter and she just kind of says what's on her mind and she chases after Schroeder and she, well, she says mean things to Charlie Brown, but she's, you know, I secretly, I think she likes Charlie Brown. Um, and then Snoopy's always like slobbering, you know, wet kisses on her and she's like, Ugh. and she's just, you know, She's supposed to be crabby, Lucy Van Pelt, but I think she's so adorable. So thank you so much. I have a little um, area in my um, desk shelf that I have designated as my little Wendy Worth um, circle. Hold on, let me show you, and I'll just pluck Lucy there while we're at it. All right, so this is my bookshelf. Um, this is the bookshelf of all my, you know, or not all, but some of my paper pads, and whoops, is that a piece of hair? 
Oh, no. Oh, it's just a little mark from the water vase that we had. Anyway, this is my um, Wendy Worth little section on my thing. You didn't know I had this, huh, Wendy? But um, she had sent me these little um, Peanuts King figures. This is a little turtle brooch from Kathy. And then this is a little um, Hallmark ornament that I had. But yeah, I'm going to put little Lucy right here so that she can be the big Lucy keeping watch over the little Peanuts gang. Oh, thank you so much, Wendy. All right, and then last but not least, she sent me one of these, a sticker frame. It's 30 stickers of Tsum Tsum and um, from time to time, and it warms my heart, Wendy, that you think of me and you pick up things that you know I would like. Um, because a while back, some of you may not remember, but Wendy sent me this really nice, like, like plastic bag pack of uh, filled with Tsum Tsum stuff, and I've been slowly using um, those items, and so. Um, yeah, so when I think Tsum Tsum, I think of certainly Wendy because she gave me quite a number of Tsum Tsum items. And a while back, Felicia, um, FP um, Handmade here on YouTube, had gifted me one of these. And I was like, ooh, perfect. This will be cute for my um, niece's scrapbook. And then as I was thinking, oh, but I want to make one for my little nephew, I was thinking, okay, should, you know, I was trying to creatively think of another way to utilize Tsum Tsum stuff because I wanted a Tsum Tsum page for him too. And so this is perfect. Thank you so much, Wendy. Love it. New adventures, stacking ups. Tsum Tsums, I call them Tsum Tsums, but my niece and nephew call them Sum Sums, and I'm sure you guys call them something else. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, though. I really appreciate this. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun finishing their scrapbook this summer. That's my goal. So as I um, finish and work on that, I will certainly share that with you guys as well so that certainly, um, Wendy, you can see how I have incorporated your sticker frame here. So, so cute. Anyway, um, just want to thank the three ladies for sending such lovely and encouraging happy mail to me. Um, Wendy does have a YouTube channel, so I'll link that down below. Tanya has one as well. Kathy does not, but she is just always um, present on YouTube watching. So anyway, just wanted to thank um, you three ladies and certainly thank you all for taking the time to watch and to just you know journey with me through this youtube um, adventure that you know we're all having and um, i look forward to seeing what the summer brings and hopefully um, during the two months that i have technically off from work you can see me become much more productive and creative and craft more and share more um, my goal is to have videos you know time willing um, sporadically throughout the week not just on the weekends so anyway thank you so much Wendy Tanya and Kathy I wish you all a very good week and I'll talk to you guys later like subscribe and I'll see you later God bless